Good morning. I'm Gabby Roslin, and a warm welcome from ITN Studios in central London, where today we're announcing the nominations for the Royal Television Society Programme Awards 2024, presented in partnership with the event's new sponsor, Cast and Crew. It's fair to say that the last year's been a challenging one for virtually everyone working in British television. The cost of living crisis, the effect of the American writers and actors' strikes, the advertising downturn and the commissioning slowdown all combined to make it a very difficult time for freelancers in particular. But despite all this, it's clear that in 2023, there was no let up in the sheer quality and range of content produced by skilled British production teams and crews. And that's more than evident in the list of nominated programmes we're about to reveal. Of course, in the first few days of this year, we saw how a single great show can make a massive impact. Produced by ITV Studios and Little Gem, the drama Mr Bates vs The Post Office dominated every news bulletin for nearly two weeks in January. It was a scandal that had been festering for decades, but it took a television drama that was brilliantly written, acted and produced to cause a genuine national outcry and prompt the government into action. That is still the power of television. And here in Britain, we have a variety, breadth and depth in television production that is unique in the world. That's what the Programme Awards celebrate. And this year's nominations honour the full range of British programme making and from all kinds of producers, from the biggest studios to the very smallest indies. So, how has the nomination list been put together? Since the beginning of January, Juries of professionals from across our industry have watched literally hundreds of hours of submitted entries. Each jury met on Zoom to discuss the programmes they'd watched, and in each category, a shortlist of three nominations was agreed. A vote by secret ballot then selected the category winner. And so to the nominations. We begin with the drama categories, and the first is drama series. The nominations are Happy Valley, produced for the BBC, The Gold, produced for the BBC and Paramount, and Top Boy, produced for Netflix. In the Drama Limited Series category, there are nominations for Best Interests, produced for the BBC, Boiling Point, produced for the BBC, and The Sixth Commandment, produced for the BBC. And in the single drama category, the nominations are Consent, produced for Channel 4, Men Up, produced for the BBC, and Partygate, produced for Channel 4. In the soap and continuing drama category, this year's nominations are Casualty, produced for the BBC, EastEnders, produced for the BBC, and Waterloo Road, produced for the BBC. In the drama performance categories, the nominees in the category of female leading actor are Jodie Whittaker for Time, produced for the BBC, Sarah Lancashire for Happy Valley, produced for the BBC, and Tamara Lawrence for Time, produced for the BBC. In the male leading actor category, the nominees are Gary Oldman for Slow Horses, produced for Apple TV Plus. Kane Robinson for Top Boy, produced for Netflix. And Timothy Spall for The Sixth Commandment, produced for the BBC. In the female supporting actor category, the nominees are Jasmine Jobson for Top Boy, produced for Netflix. Ron Kay, Adi Kolo Joe for Rain Dogs, produced for the BBC. And Bella Ramsey for Time, produced for the BBC. In the Male Supporting Actor category, the nominees are Araloyan Oshan Remy for Top Boy, produced for Netflix, Mark Gatiss for Nolly, produced for ITVX, and Aina Hardwick for The Sixth Commandment, produced for the BBC. We move now on to factual programmes. In the formatted popular factual category, the nominations are Banged Up, 
produced for Channel 4. Sort Your Life Out, produced for the BBC, and The Piano, produced for Channel 4. In the history category, the nominated programmes are Britain's Human Zoos, produced for Channel 4, The Man Who Played With Fire, produced for Sky Documentaries, and White Nanny, Black Child, produced for Channel 5. In the live event category, three pieces of memorable landmark television. The nominees are the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, produced for the BBC. The Coronation Concert, produced for the BBC. And the Coronation of Their Majesties the King and Queen Camilla, produced for the BBC. British documentary making continues to enjoy a golden era with pieces of outstanding work in both the documentary categories this year. The nominations in the documentary series category are Evacuation, produced for Channel 4, Kids, produced for Channel 4, and Once Upon a Time in Northern Ireland, produced for the BBC. In the single documentary category, the nominated programmes are Anorexic, produced for Channel 5, Otto Baxter, Not an Effing Horror Story, produced for Sky Documentaries, and The Price of Truth, produced for Channel 4. In the arts category, the nominated programmes are Becoming Frida Kahlo, produced for the BBC, Fight the Power, How Hip Hop Changed the World, produced for the BBC, and Louis Capaldi, How I'm Feeling Now, produced for Netflix. The nominations in the Science and the Natural World category are Chimp Empire, produced for Netflix, Inside Our Autistic Minds, produced for the BBC, and Planet Earth 3, produced for the BBC. In the presenter category, this year's nominees are Chris Packham for Inside Our Autistic Minds, produced for the BBC, Rod Gilbert, for a pain in the neck, produced for Channel 4. And Stacey Solomon for Sort Your Life Out, produced for the BBC. Now to the sports coverage and production categories. As ever, these are keenly contested this year. For the Sports Programme Award, the nominations are the 2023 Rugby World Cup, produced for ITV1 and ITV4. The All-Ireland Senior Football Championship Final, produced for the BBC. And The Ashes, produced for Sky Sports Cricket. In the category of Sports Presenter, Commentator or Pundit, the nominees are Alex Scott for the FIFA Women's World Cup for the BBC. Gabby Logan for the FIFA Women's World Cup for the BBC. And Nasa Hussain for the Ashes for Sky Sports Cricket. The huge weekend ratings of the last few weeks have shown that entertainment as a genre still packs a massive punch. This year's entertainment nominations all powerfully showcase the creativity and skills of the teams who deliver these highly popular programmes. In the entertainment programme category, the nominated shows are Michael McIntyre's The Wheel, produced for the BBC. Squid Game, The Challenge, produced for Netflix. And Strictly Come Dancing, produced for the BBC. In the entertainment performance category, the three nominees are Hannah Waddingham for the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, produced for the BBC. Noel Fielding and Alison Hammond for The Great British Bake Off, produced for Channel 4 and Rob Beckett and Ramesh Ranganathan for Rob and Ramesh Versus, produced for Sky Max. In the daytime category, this year's nominated programmes are Good Morning Britain, the Matt Hancock interview, produced for ITV1, Junior Bake Off, produced for Channel 4, and Scam Interceptors, produced for the BBC. In the children's programme category, the nominees are A Kind of Spark, produced for the BBC, FYI Investigates Kids Who Vape, produced for Sky Kids and Sky News, and Tabby McTat, 
produced for the BBC. And now we move on to the comedy categories. In the comedy drama category, the nominated series are Big Boys, produced for Channel 4, Juice, produced for the BBC, and There She Goes, produced for the BBC. In the scripted comedy category, the nominations are Black Ops, produced for the BBC, Extraordinary, produced for Disney+, and Such Brave Girls, produced for the BBC. In the comedy entertainment category, the nominees are Rob and Ramesh Versus, produced for Sky Max, Taskmaster, produced for Channel 4, and The Graham Norton Show, produced for the BBC. The comedy performance categories are next, and the nominees for female comedy performance are Mairead Tyers for Extraordinary, produced for Disney+, Plus, Bemin Sola Ikumelu for Black Ops, produced for the BBC, and Kat Sadler for Such Brave Girls, produced for the BBC. For male comedy performance, the three nominees are Freddie Meredith for Such Brave Girls, produced for the BBC. Hamed Annie Mashan for Black Ops, produced for the BBC. And John Pointing for Big Boys, produced for Channel 4. The Breakthrough Award is presented to celebrate an emerging and significant new talent in television, either in front or behind the camera. It's an early indication of great things to come for some promising people, as can be seen from the list of previous winners. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Michaela Cole, Daniel Lawrence Taylor, Naban Rizwan, Tanya Moody, Mae Martin, Ajani Salmon, and last year's winner, Lenny Rush. This year's three nominees are actor Ashley Thomas, who won critical acclaim for his fine performance as Jaggers in last year's adaptation of Great Expectations, produced for the BBC. The wildlife cameraman and presenter, Hamza Yassin, who followed his victory in 2022's Strictly Come Dancing with an insightful documentary about his favourite birds of prey, produced for the BBC. And the blind journalist and content creator, Lucy Edwards, who brought a unique perspective to her highly memorable film about Japan, produced for the BBC. The Programme Awards has a great tradition of honouring the work of our finest television writers, and we're proud to continue that tradition this year. In the comedy writing category, the nominees are Bridget Christie for The Change, produced for Channel 4, Jack Rook for Big Boys, produced for Channel 4, and Joe Tucker, Lloyd Wolf, Bemisola Ikimelu, and Akim G. Defornian for Black Ops, produced for Channel 4. For drama writing, the nominees are Emma Dennis Edwards for Consent, produced for Channel 4, Sally Wainwright for Happy Valley, produced for the BBC, and Sarah Phelps for The Sixth Commandment, produced for the BBC. And so there they are, the nominations for this year's RTS Programme Awards. My sincere congratulations to all of the nominees. And it's now my pleasure to hand over to the Chief Executive of the Royal Television Society, Theresa Wise. Thanks, Gabby. And thank you for leading us through the nominations for this year's Programme Awards. Firstly, may I add my own congratulations to all the nominated programmes and programme makers announced today. It's absolutely true that 2023 was a challenging time for our industry. So how heartening then to see such a rich and varied list of nominations, a list which showcases some of the genuinely outstanding television that informed and entertained audiences last year. Secondly, a few thanks beginning with our new sponsorship partner, Cast & Crew. As many of you will know, Cast & Crew is the leading entertainment industry business partner, fueling efficiency with payroll, accounting and creative solutions. They also provide expert guidance on residuals, workers' compensation, production incentives and financial services that support television, film, advertising and live entertainment productions globally. This is Cast & Crew's first year of partnership with the RTS on the Programme Awards and we're delighted to welcome them on board. Thank you also to everyone who submitted programmes for this year's awards. 
The Programme Awards is our biggest fundraising event of the year, and it wouldn't be possible without the continuing support of the broadcasters, content platforms and production community. A special word of thanks as well to our jury members who gave up hours of precious time to watch the shows, sit on the juries and discuss the entries. We make a special effort to put together juries which reflect the diversity of today's audience. So I'm pleased to report that of the 263 jurors this year, 151 identified as female, 110 identified as male and two as non-binary. 100 jurors, that's 38%, were from minority ethnic backgrounds. And one final word of thanks to our Programme Awards Chair, Kenton Allen, whose ideas, enthusiasm and energy all benefit the Programme Awards greatly. So thank you, Kenton. And that wraps up our presentation for today. Please don't forget to book your table for the event itself if you haven't done so yet. The date is Tuesday, the 26th of March, and the venue is the Grosvenor House Hotel in London. I'm thrilled that once again this year, the wonderfully entertaining Tom Allen will be our host. So it promises to be a terrific night celebrating the best of British television. I look forward to seeing you then for the RTS Programme Awards 2024, presented in partnership with cast and crew. Thank you.